Hi, welcome to Tonic Studios. I'm Sophie and today I'm going to show you some things you can make using our Flower for All Seasons die set and colouring pencils. So let's take a look at the dies and stamps. The set contains these cute little floral stamps and matching sentiments there and a full set of dies to cut out those shapes so you can make whatever you like. Some of our crafters have made some cute cards you can see around me, even including this little bookmark. But I'm going to show you some other fun stuff you can make too with a set. The first thing I made with these cute gift tags, I wanted to make something that looked like a bouquet of flowers. So I used some of the floral stamps and then just some brown paper and twine to create that effect. So let's show you how I did those. So the first step would be to stamp out some of the florals. As you can see, I've done that using the Black Shadow Nouveau Hybrid Ink. Um, and then to colour them, I used our new colouring pencils. So I used the hair and skin tones. Um, as you can see, they're a light selection of colours. And then the brilliant vibrants, which are, as they say, more vibrant in colour. To colour in my flowers, I've used our colouring pencils. And because they have a high pigment wax core, you can use blending solution to really get a smoother finish on the blending. So I'm just going to show you one. I've started doing that on um, and then just show you, you can use some blending solution and a paper stub and then you can just, as you can see, just blend those colours together. So it's really good for people who are not that fussed on colouring because you can basically just squiggle some colours on and the solution will really do the work for you and then you get a nice blended finish. So, so to construct my bouquet, I then split one of those stamps in half. So you can see that would have been the original stamped image. Let me just get this back in view there. But I've cut those in half just so we get some variations in the flowers. So we get a fuller bouquet. So let me move those aside. And then once you've colored all those in, I just placed flowers on the tag and then you can just start arranging your bouquet like so there now once you're happy with the arrangement I use some of our red line tape or even our deluxe adhesive just to fix those in place and then obviously we're missing the brown paper wrapping so I just used some scrap brown paper if you can see and then just folded that into a rough triangle shape to then place that so it's going to be something like that and then glue those down in place when you're happy with them and then I finished it off with some of our twine just to make a cute little bow there and I'll show you the finished article so you can see I've just added the just for you sentiment you could probably even write one of your own, like thanks a bunch, is this a bunch of flowers, or you're the best of the bunch. And then I used the leftover blooms that I had then to just make this other one on craft card. And as you can see, I've used one of the dies to cut out the sentiments. There, thank you for everything. And I even, you could even cut that again to just say thank you, or again, just use your own sentiment to make those. So yeah, really happy with those little tags. But what's a tag without wrapping paper? To make, to get started to make the wrapping paper, I loaded up some of the stamps just on a stamping block and then, um, repeated, obviously repeated the pattern over and then put a different pattern on and then did those in alternate, in the alternate spots. So then you get this big, nice piece of wrapping paper. And obviously you can do the other side as well to make it even bigger. And then I even went a step further and stamped on a lunch bag as well. Yeah, a little look at that. So you can wrap your gift, put it in a gift bag, and then add the gift tag as well. So then let me get the tags in for you. And there it is, a lovely little wrapping set. Hopefully we've given you lots of ideas on how to use this set. We'd love to see what you've come up with. Show us on Facebook and Instagram, and happy crafting.